I feel nauseous, believe me Never had a lot of sh** come easy Had to work hard, struggle just to be me Had to rise up just so they could see me Did what I had to do just to feed me And what was left over I put towards my dreaming But the only thing in life that has meaning Are the things you gotta work for, believe me Take into your hands a plan Your own hands can land your own brand And damn, I feel like no one takes accountability They want the credibility Convincingly unwilling to put in the f hours It takes to get some power Don't be f***ing sour Take a cold shower Scream until you're louder Work until you're prouder And f*** all the doubters They're just your downers I swear to God they all let me down I always fought just to wear the crown I'm off at these f***ing clowns Who were all taught they deserve an ounce It's only worth it if you work for it It's only worth it if you work for it I won't stop till they hear me now I won't stop till I wear the crown Going to um, Uncle JB's neck of the woods. Um, That's at least you going to Uncle JB's neck of, neck of the woods. Grab my brother. Yeah. yeah. Well, okay yeah, then. I mean, huh? Sophie, you? Yeah, I know she passed. I don't know what the funeral's yeah. gonna be yet, but uh, yeah, I'm going because she was like a little sister to me, man. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm taking a little hard, but it, it hadn't set on me yet. But when I get to the funeral, you know, I'll be crying like a little baby. Yeah. Okay. Okay, then I'm gonna let you go there. No credit support. Oh, I'm not gonna show up and show out, honey. I'm gonna be a late. I'm matter of fact, I'm gonna even be drinking with Derek House. Because you know ain't barely gonna be up there. I don't have time for to get on me, honey. Yeah, we got plenty of alcohol, so Yeah, exactly. I don't need all that alcohol in my life because I know I'll be sick for days. And me gotta go to school, uh uh, no alcohol. Yeah. <laughs> you would probably be a little natural like beer. Cause my dad is supposed to be coming down too, so you know how that goes. Yeah. Yeah. I need a call like that goes. Oh, you ate breakfast already? Yeah, I'm leaving now. I'm going to go. All right then. Have a good day. I'm gonna sleep. All right. Bye. Well, there we have it. We have my cousin's birthday party tonight, and then uh, one of my other uh, little sisters, who's not really my real sister, but she's like a sister, passed away. Her name is Miss Sophie Willoughby. She uh has two beautiful daughters. She was about 40 years old and her brother came home from prison. And uh, I don't know of all the excitement or whatever, she had a heart attack, but she had um, uh, uh, aneurysm um, probably about, I wanna say about 25 years ago. I came home from the military and uh, I picked her up and my sister had told me that she had suffered aneurysm, so it crippled her. But 
through it all, you know, through uh, physical therapy, she was able to, you know, beat that thing. She had surgery and they corrected it. And she was uh, in a wheelchair uh, for the last 25 years, taking care of kids, you know, doing what she had to do. I mean, super trooper. I love Sophia Willoughby. She's uh, my baby, if I had to call because I remember when I was like 14, 15, I used to babysit her and my little kids. She was next door, my cousin's uh, uh, firstborn, uh, Bud Hubbard, Bud Willoughby Hubbard, who is now deceased herself. Um, but uh, yeah, we lost someone so sweet, Sophia Willoughby. She wasn't even 50 years old yet, young, young. But you know, they say the good die young. So I know she's up in heaven right now, looking down on me. I love her so much. So if you guys know the word of prayer, please pray, especially pray for Sophie Willoughby and her family that they may get through this ordeal because anybody knows about death in the family, this your boy, our family has been through it. COVID-19 alone, I lost my uncle. And about a year ago, I lost my niece when her so-called boyfriend shot her in the head on her birthday. Um, Lord, if I had to keep going on, I'd be on talking about death all day. But, you know, when it comes to death, that's God's thing. You know, we don't like it. We got to go through it. I just wish you guys to say a prayer for me because uh, I am impacted by this because she's my cousin, more like a sister. But today is my other cousin's birthday. Um, he's celebrating his 57th birthday, uh, Derek Harrington. So, you know, my uncle was telling me, like, don't get over there and start cold cutting up because me and Derek get to drinking. Oh, we drink. That boy, see, drink me underneath the table. But he's the type of person. He's a Marine. He he can drink. Trust me, he's a devil dog. I mean, when I say devil dog, he is the essence Big old picture says Sergeant Major Derek Harrington, Marine, United States Corps Marine. That's him. Me, I'm a little old states of the U.S. Army. So, of course, you know, y'all drink me. Um, I drink two glasses of champagne and I'm drunk. He can drink uh, four bottles of tequila still standing up. So, yeah, you know, it is what it is. But getting back to the breakfast, y'all, I'm going to cook some pancakes this morning. Um, I already got my grits on because last time I cooked breakfast, I think it was yesterday morning. Um, You guys check out my live videos. I didn't have the grits on. So I already have the grits, the grits already pre-cooked. And what I did was put water. I had a uh, half a stick of butter. I put like three cups of uh, grits in it because, you know, mom and everybody come over for breakfast this morning. So, you know, I just want to have something to eat when they come in and come out. Because Saturday morning, that's what we do around here. We eat, move, do what we got to do, visit, say goodbye, and everybody going by 12. So, you know, when people come in, I like to have something to eat, you know, so they don't have like, Girl, what you got in there to eat? <laughs> Nick, look at the stove and get it. So this morning is going to be pancakes, cheese and eggs, and grits. No pork, no meat. You know, they want meat to go get there because I am now a vegetarian. Yes, I am. Doing the vegan thing, y'all. So first thing I'm going to do is get my eggs out. Whoa. And you guys, I'm going to start pre-printing the, uh, the recipes for Carolina Diamonds Diner, which I'm now calling my second cooking channel. Um, I'm going to put all the recipes, you know, in the description so you guys can see exactly what I'm doing. But today is my first video, so I'm going to have to go back and edit it and stand on my channel probably tonight. I'm working on my third channel, my personal channel, and uh, i got to do a couple more channels with some other people. But, hey, getting back to the cooking here, y'all. Let's get it because I'm hungry. I am looking for a bowl. This is already washed over here. Oh, just ripped itself. And while that's the one, I'm gonna turn on the stove. Uh, the first aisle, I'm, I, I'm gonna turn this one on to seven because I want my oil to actually get hot. I mix up the ingredients. Y'all don't tell me I don't have any oil because if you don't, I don't have any cooking oil. I'm in trouble. And I know I do. Don't we're gonna improvise. I got some oil now. The devil is a lie. If I don't, there's other days you can cook with, please believe me. It looks like I don't have any oil because last night I cooked me some tilapia fish and it was good. So in that case, guess what I'm going to use today? Imperial margarine. Margarine. And yes, guys, you can cook with margarine. Please believe me. I don't like to because I love my olive oil, but this morning I don't have any. So, but anyway, the show must go on, right? You got to eat. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and cut, I say, four tablespoons of butter. Well, this is probably going to be the best fatty-ass pancake I've ever ate in my life, but it's going to be worth it. So I'll go ahead and, you know, grease the sides. It makes it easier to clean. 
So I'm gonna do let that simmer. And y'all can y'all believe my eyes like jacked? That's when I clean my stove. I didn't put it on properly, but I'm not gonna touch it now because it's so hot. So I'm gonna let that go. I'm gonna put it on a seven because I wanted to go ahead and melt properly. And then for my eggs, the same thing. I'm gonna use a half half stick. What's going on, Mad Max TV? Just cooking a little breakfast here. Hope you're having a blessed Saturday morning. And what I'm going to do, guys, instead of putting a whole half stick and I'm on my diet, we're just going to go one, two, three tablespoons per egg, cut it in half, and we use the rest of the butter stick for our pancakes. So I'm going to do just let it go. I may have too much. If that's the case, I'll take this right here and put it in the grits. But let's put this up because we don't need no more butter. Lord knows we got to do a thousand sit-ups for this. And the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to grab my milk. I got my eggs. All right. And the most important ingredient I'm missing is the cheese. The cheese, the cheese, the cheese. So what I'm going to do, going over here, put a little bit, I say about not even a, about a half a cup of milk in my eggs. Put it to the side. I'm going to put, well, I better turn my stove my eggs on. I'm going to put this on right here. We're going to put this on. We'll start it out with four because it's a slow milk while I'm mixing everything up. We got, let's get this party started, right? Half breakfast in less than five minutes. And I'm done. So I'm going to put four eggs in here. Hold on, guys. Give me just a second. I'm going to get over you can see me. I got to get my kitchen set up. I got to get me a, um, a camera with a tripod on it so I can move around freely. And one of those eye rings for... <laughs> That I saw at Walmart. You're yeah, in a cell phone stand. Yeah. So I'm putting three eggs plus one more. I gotta make me a grocery list, y'all, because I'm about out of eggs too. Eggs and vegetables. I mean, uh, excuse me, olive oil is what I gotta get. Because I plan on doing a whole lot of cooking this summer, y'all. I'm starting my diet. So the next thing I'm gonna do, guys, is go ahead and stir it up. Let me get a fork. Go ahead and break. Make make sure you break the yolk, y'all, because that's what's going to give it the zest and the boom. And normally when I'm cooking um, cheese and eggs, I like to use powdered milk because it makes the eggs go pop. And uh, it's pretty good. You know, it makes, eggs, makes a big difference. So what I'm going to do now is go ahead and break the egg yolk, stir it up accordingly. Y'all, it is hot this morning. It's about 100,000 degrees here in North Carolina. But guess what? It is so hot, even the damn devil in hell won't come out. So, you know, my hair is up because it's so humid. And I do have long hair, guys. So I just got it in a ponytail wrapped up because I just got a shower. And, you know, I don't want to be like, oh, gosh, she's sweating like hell when there's only water coming from my hair. So I had to put it up. But anyway, moving right along. I hope the weather's there great for you guys. I hope it's not so hot because I'm about to go turn the air conditioner on because I can't take it, yo. So, but in the meantime, while I'm doing this, I'm going to cut up the cheese and the eggs and cut the cheese in there. And then what I'm going to do now is just go ahead and toss the cheese inside of the bowl that I just put the eggs and milk in. Mm -hmm. Hold on, guys. Let me the second trash can is over here. Now, in the meantime, while this is going on, I need to turn down my grits down to low because they are already done. And what I'm going to do right here is, guys, you got to um, iron skillet. You better hurry up and put that grease in there, which should be just enough right there. Yeah, just enough, just enough. So we're going to go ahead and just dip that in there, in there. And what you want to do, your eggs to do is form like an omelet, okay? While that's doing it, go ahead and put your things away and wash. I love the clean kitchen, y'all. I just can't stand cooking in that kitchen. I put all my things in there. And while I'm preparing to cook, when my meal is getting wrong, on, that's when I wash my dishes. But, you know, you might do things differently than I do, but me, it's just the way I was taught. And, you know, military teach you time management when you become an E7 above, you just use those things. And, you know, it's like grit, growth, resistance, intelligence, and tenacity. You just do it at home. It saves time, makes sense. Do it, honey. That's more time for yourself, right? So, anyway, if you know how to cook, you've been cooking a long time, you know about time management in the kitchen. Do what you got to do. Make it burn, make it burn, honey. And what I'm doing right here, guys, is buttering my sides for my pancakes. Because when you cook pancakes, you don't want to be sticking to the pan unless you got a non-stick pan. So what I'm going to do is turn up a little bit. 
and go ahead and get my pancakes ready. But I got to put it on an even aisle, so I'm going to put it like that, yeah. Because like I said, I was cleaning my stoves, guys, and my, you know, the biggest thing in the world I hate is pushing the eyes back into the stove. That's why my next stove is going to be one of those ranges that get hot on its own. It's one of those smart stoves from Titaniums. It costs about $950. I'm going to get me one, too. They sell clean. I mean, I love, don't get me wrong, Frigidaire is cool, but when it comes to stoves, mm, I got to have that silver stuff, honey. Get up with date with technology. <laughs> right now, I'm in the 90s with this stove. But it's cool. It do what it do. Besides, uh, and then the oven, my oven is gone now because I didn't have this stove now probably about 20,000 years in my life. No, I'm just playing about 10 years. I'm trying to make it laugh. But anyway, what I'm going to do now, guys, is try to put this right here. And I'm going to mix up my pancakes. And what I'm going to do, guys, any pancake will do, you know, you're trying to put yourself on a budget because I'm working on my master's degree, even though I have dual degrees in telecommunications and um, business manager. I am now working on the criminal justice with a background in IT, cyber uh, security, which is going to, I got two and a half more years before I have my PhD on all telecommunications. So, but anyway, yeah, I got to go to school. I'm going to school with ECPI. And what I'm going to do right now, guys, is take this out because I hate to do it pancakes in a box and it gets stuck in there at the bottom of the box and then you when you take it out it just falls all over the floor so i'm gonna put about two cups in there i mean you can do your pancakes however you want to like see like i said pancakes everywhere and i'll just shake it off in the sink and put it back in the box and this time we're using this chest hill waffle and 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 uh pancake mix it's real great but like I said, you see that in the bottom, all that pancake stuff in there? Oh, I hate it. I really do. But anyway, getting back to the breakfast. I am going to take a little bit of milk because I love my milk. I love milk. Milk is good for you. And since I'm on a diet, this is not um, right, the whole milk. It's a uh, 2% milk. All right, y'all. Picture me rolling. Gonna get a cooking, y'all. And for my pancakes, y'all know I gotta go with Miss Butterworth. Miss Butterworth. Yes, yes. Love that lady. She's been in my life for 44 beautiful years, honey. 44. And yes, I am 44. July 7th, 7th, 7th. But anyway, I was in somebody's stream and somebody said, You can't be saying, I said, I said what the hell I want to. <laughs> about my birthday. Shit. I'm in my life. You gonna tell me when I can't say my birthday? Shit, I thank God for every day I was born. I don't know what's wrong with these ladies. Uh, I ain't don't care. I don't tell you my age. Well, ain't my problem that you get no old, grow old gracefully, honey. At least I am. I don't need all that makeup and all that no fake eyelashes and all that. I'm myself. I ain't nothing wrong with it. I mean, that's how you guys girls like to do that. But me, I don't know eyelashes with my eyelashes. I don't have any. I, I thank God what I have. Every day, every wrinkle, every gray hair, honey, I'm going to thank him. Because if it wasn't him, I wouldn't be here. So why are you ashamed by your looks? Don't you know we this is why God created us differently? Can you imagine a boring world where we all look alike? It would be so boring. I thank God that I'm different, you know? Even twins are different. Everybody's like, yeah, girl, I know her. How you going to know me more than I know myself? The devil is a lot. You, do you some of y'all don't out there don't even know your own sales? <laughs> I'm just keeping it 100, y'all. Y'all know I'm gonna keep it real with you. Now, y'all, I'm gonna start the pancakes just right. And what I'm gonna do, y'all, I'm gonna switch out these spiders. What well, we call them spiders, they're spiders, spatulas, pans. So I'm gonna move this to the side right here because I want to go ahead and get my pancakes started because my eye is uneven and it's too hot, too late to adjust now because they're all hot. So what I'm gonna do right here. And stir up my pancakes and put this here on the skillet, iron skillet. Please, guys, make sure you got a cool, cool cloth or something because that right there can actually burn your extra burn mine. That's why I jump. But what I'm going to do is go ahead and stir this up. And that's why I miss my, my oil because you have to watch that butter. You can really mess up your pancakes if you, if you get it too hot and stick it to the pan. Pancakes just won't come out right. No burnt, no ashy. We don't want that. So right now you can see my pancakes is kind of loose because I put a little bit too much milk, but that is no problem. 
All I'm going to do is just put the remaining pancakes in there and then put pancakes in my list. <laughs> my grocery list, that is. So I need some olive oil, I need some more eggs, and I need some more pancake mix. I can actually make my own homemade pancakes, but I would go buy it. So I put a little bit more and thicken it up. That should be enough. Oh, Lord. Let's turn that down a little bit. The grease begin to pop. No, I'm not prepared. I already have my ingredients already done. But since I was like, man, am I going to eat or am I going to eat some boiled eggs? I was like, I'm going to eat me some breakfast today. I've been on a diet for the last two, well, actually eating right the last week, but actually exercising since Monday. So we're going to stir it up. I'll show y'all guys what it looked like. Stir the pancakes to get all the lumps out. It's getting thick. All my eggs is already going. Y'all smelling good already. So go ahead and whip it good. It's just like I want it. It's getting thick. Yes. Now, with that being said, you move all around a little bit. Like so. I'm going to go ahead. My pancakes are going to be whopped out, y'all. Because of my eyes, I didn't put them back in right. So, but anyway, we're going to go ahead and adjust that. You want to put about, i say a shape of, I don't know, pancakes are on you. It depends on how big you want them. Me, I don't want mine too big. I'm just gonna make two good ones. I could make a third one. No, we're just gonna make two two good ones. And then why it's doing that? Put that to the side. I like to go ahead and rinse that out because that pancake needs to do. Yep, and be washed, ready, ready to be washed. So while that's going, I'm gonna turn things up a little bit. To go ahead and end this process, we should be eating about two or three minutes. It's looking good, y'all. Clean things up over here. And I'll be able to sit down and talk to you for a minute or so. Pour me a little coffee. Got the coffee going already, y'all. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Give me just a second. Be right back. Hey, what are some of you guys' plans today? Me, y'all be doing a little homework and be live most of the day, all day. Um, and now I'm not gonna be live this morning because I understand that everybody got things to do. Maybe you want to sleep late, but I'll be coming back on because, like I told you, my told my told y'all, y'all know y'all are my peeps, my lower people. Y'all start going live every day. So that's just the way it is, y'all. Gotta get that watch our time. And I lost some subscribers, guys. Yeah, I don't know if it's a purge or you guys just don't like my stuff, but I don't worry about them numbers. I get there when I get there. The most important thing about me, I like networking. I love YouTube, period. But most of all, I love cooking for and making friends with people I have, like Mad Max, my boy. Sorry, Mad Max. He's a man with a master plan, y'all. Y'all see me over the Abandoned Boys. Um, you'll see me. Mad Max is an outstanding YouTuber. He has the most best game graphics. I mean, paranormal. Y'all should check him out, y'all. Mad Max, he's the man, y'all. I'm telling you. He's a legend. Next to Angry Grandpa, I think he's next in line. Y'all know I love me some Angry Grandpa. Keep behind the camera, the Green family. Charles, South Carolina, AAP. A View with a View. Abandoned Boys. Mad Max, D9. Tony, what's up? Yeah, that type of stuff. Feel me? G-Kicks. AP 420. Byron chilling with Byron up in the house productions. Those are my peeps. Jesus free God, the good one. Just to name a few. But anyway, y'all, these eggs looking mighty fine, mighty fine. So we go ahead and turn these off. And I just want them to just sit there because of what is happening now is all that grease is coming out. So now with the pancakes, get back over here. We're going to turn up a little bit. Put the grits on three. Cause we're gonna eat in a minute, y'all. Trust me. So right now I'm just waiting for the pancakes to form. I'll show you guys what it looks like. 
Here we go, y'all. And basically, when you see those little tiny holes that begin to form around the pancake, you see it's two there. Actually, I'm going to make it four. Four small pancakes. Well, you want to wait till the little holes and start percolating. You feel me? Yes. So a lot of people like to call these Johnny Cakes. <laughs> Mine's going to be pie cakes. I'm going to cut it like a pie. So what I'll do right now is take my handy-dandy pancake spatula. If you get one of these, they're very excellent for lifting all the excess oil out of any ingredient. But anyway, I got one person watching. Can I get a thumbs up from me? Mad Max, if you don't mind. Just, I mean, it's free. It lets me know how good I'm doing on my channel. You know, like, share, subscribe. Mad Max is my moderator. One of my many moderators. I mean, guys, I, I'm when I say my moderators, I got the best mods in the world, honey. We're talking about the top echelon of YouTube. I got Miss Fucking Wonderful. I got Bendy Boys. I got Mad Max. I got Chilling with Byron. God, the good one. Jesus, a freak. Should I go on? Yep. But tell me, you see anybody in blue here? Trust me, they know YouTube. They knew you know YouTube. If anything, I'm the baby of all of them. They teach me all the time. Because I'm telling you, when I started when I first started YouTube, I used to cuss people out because I didn't know that YouTube could be so cruel, you know? So I've learned to sit back and chill like Mad Max, Coke 49, the Band of Boys. Let trolls be trolls. That's a better way to handle people. Just ignore them. And they want to cut up, then they know not to cut up. Yeah, and these pancakes, I'm gonna put them on this eye. How about that? Then we can see it better. Because this eye is just not getting hot as I want to because it's not pushed all the way in. But I would take care of that problem when we're done cooking. But right now, I'm gonna let them sit there and see how it's just uneven, y'all. I don't like that. But anyway, we will do it what we have. And what I'm doing right now, guys, is taking the four uh pieces. Well, pancakes and flip them right now. I'm making little miniature pancakes. You know, y'all know what I'm saying? Where you just flip it and flatten it out. So right about now, I probably got like four, five little small pancakes, and it's making a mess, y'all, because I should have uh made it a little thicker, but it's gonna do what it's gonna do. People hungry, they'll eat honey. Trust me. As long as they ain't burnt, they'll eat it. And I'll let that. There we go. Now I can put it back on this side. And I'll let it just uh, go ahead and simmer. Not simmer, but getting brown. Get brown, get brown, honey. While that's happening, I'm going to go ahead and get my plate ready. Oh, Lord, honey. It's getting hot already. I'm going to go turn the air conditioning on while that's doing it. And I'll be right back, y'all. But anyway, today's going to be a beautiful day. I'm running the water into the pool. I'll be swimming all day. Going live with Katie and my books. Having a good time. Feel me? But anyway. Just turn the air conditioning on. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Just turn the air conditioning on, y'all. And now what we're gonna do, y'all, is go ahead and get ready for breakfast in about two minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and get the plates up, but right now I got time to straighten up a little bit. Before my mom and pops get over here. Now, y'all keep in mind, my dad passed away, but my mom got a new boyfriend. And we call it Pops. His name is Pop Bennett. So we call it Pops. But I call my dad, Dad. So, you know, if I say Pop, inside my, oh, Lord, I'm looking at the pool. Boy, that boy, Red Bad Boy, ready to go. I'm ready to get in my swimming pool, y'all. Swimming suit. We go swimming. But anyway, let's go ahead and get this breakfast going, y'all, because I'm ready to eat. Hope you guys have a wonderful Saturday. And I think he was spending time in Carolina Diamonds Kitchen, y'all. But this is what we're going to do. I'm going to go ahead and get one pancake. Yeah, I'm sure you what it looked like. Yes. And I want a little bit of for myself. Not much, just a little bit. So what I'll do, i got to get that up too, guys. I'll pick this up, and I'll shake all the oil out of it. Yeah, I eat like a fist-sized portion because I am a Definitely gonna finish this diet because I gotta look good by July the 7th, y'all. Please believe. Then I'll get me a little bit of grits. Yeah, I cooked about six people today. Now the grits, guys, is Quaker, Quaker grits. And basically, I'll just stir it up a little bit, put a little milk in it, and it smells fabulous. Now I'll put, I think I'll take me about three tablespoons because I believe in watching my weight because I am not gonna get out here. And ruin my diet, honey. Um, 
even too far to lose this weight. Sitting around, broke legs and stuff, you know, couldn't work out. But now I'm up and standing. And guess what I did last night? My my ass went in the wash the washing machine, fell on my finger, and y'all look. I think I pretty much missed my finger up. Boy, oh, life of a soldier. I'm glad I can have two kids. I'm glad that I can take a little bit of pain. But that shit hurt, y'all. Y'all excuse my language, but I said worse than that last night. So I'm going to put this back on the eggs. Okay. I thought they took my utensils out and go ahead and wash them. I really do. Mm. Man, it was a fabulous, y'all. Put this inside the stove. So we come to comes open and go ahead and eat. My finger, I can't, it's hard for me to open the stove, too. Yeah. So what I'm going to do now, go ahead and clean up the mess up top of the stove. Can't stand it there in the kitchen, y'all. I really can't. All right, y'all. Y'all the one one thing y'all probably know that I didn't do. I didn't put any salt in it. I don't like a lot of salt. I really don't. That's probably why I crumple all the time because my body always needs salt. But for today's purpose, I'll put a little bit on it. And I'm the type of person I let put people put their own salt on it. Like I cook like the hospital. It tastes great, but it needs salt. So I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle a little bit because I don't like that much salt. Just a little bit. Put it back up. Go ahead and get the wood out. Ain't your mama, baby. And I don't like to put a lot of butter on my stuff because the butter is already inside. As you can see, I substitute the olive oil for a little bit of margin today. No, I use I can't believe I butter, but I got to go to the grocery store, y'all. It's been so hot. I'm like, hell with it. I'm not going to the grocery store. I hate going grocery shopping, especially when it's really hot. Woo, people just get outrageous when it's hot, honey. People are already going crazy because of the epidemic. And now people fighting over masks and stuff. I'm like, man, I'll get there when I can. It ain't no hurry, but you got to get food. But anyway, let's taste this food, y'all. As y'all can see, I got my grits, got my pancakes, and I got my cheese and eggs. And yes. Let's take this out how it is. Ooh, this plate is hot, y'all. My finger hurting, too. Let's taste it. Mmm, mmm, y'all. So slamming. Y'all, mmm. I don't mean to be rude, but I'm telling you, this girl is hungry. Happy uh, Juneteenth Day to all of y'all. Afro Americans, we free, free at last, free at last. Thank God we free at last. Power to the people. All lives matter to me, but today is our day. Power to the people, black power. Love this day, but when we get to heaven, God ain't gonna care about skin color. He's gonna say, I care about your soul. So I'm having I'm gonna say this. Happy soul day, my brothers and sisters. Bon appetit. Mm, y'all. Much love, y'all. Peace. Thanks for stopping by, Mad Max, and eating breakfast with me. Much love, baby. I'm going to check you out today. Y'all, everybody go check out Mad Max, because I am. Peace.